We're learning, we're learning more about the Chinese spy balloon that floated over the United States. Our next guest says that China could have been more successful than we think in collecting valuable intelligence. Here now, David Kennedy, a former hacker with the NSA. David, thank you so much for being here. What could China have collected? Because the United States was following this particular balloon that was shot down off the coast of South Carolina from the moment it took off from China. Yeah, what we know from U.S. officials is is not a lot, but what they said is that, you know, predominantly uh, solar based had communications directly feeding intel to China and that it would had a number of collection antennas on it. Uh, coming from the signals intelligence arena, you know, if you have uh, 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 antennas that are there, you can basically intercept signals that are happening here back in the United States at a different range than you could from satellite communications. You know, satellites have good imagery, things like that, but they can't collect the signals that are typically on the ground. And so when you look at that, you know, the military, the Pentagon, what we look at from an offensive capability, warfighting capabilities perspective, you know, those are often, you know, high speed systems that, you know, utilize heavy encryption. We don't take into account back here in the United States, you know, uh, a foreign nation being above us collecting our signals. So our military often back here in the States has legacy systems, you know, weaker encryption, unencrypted communications, all of those things that China can, you know, grab real time. That's a major threat, a potential you know, security risk for, for us here back in the States, because now they know, you know, tr uh, troop movements, potentially, you know, people that in personnel that work in those locations, tying that back to TikTok databases and what they do from a collection standpoint there. There's so many different alternatives. But at the end of the day, you know, having signals that, that you couldn't get from space, being able to collect here is a major problem. So, David, knowing what you know, if you're advising the president, would have you told him to shoot this balloon down over Montana or before it even got to Alaska? Or would you say, no, no, let it fly over the U.S. and shoot it down over South Carolina? What advice would have you given? That's that's a little bit out of my pay grade. However, what I would say is that our airspace, especially here back in the United States, um, is our airspace. If there's uh, you know a foreign object that is coming that is unidentified, doesn't follow the appropriate uh, stages, you know, typically those are, are handled in a way that they're either escorted out of our airspace immediately uh, or they're shot down. Uh, the fact that this was able to go over highly sensitive uh, facilities bases, what we use from an ICMB perspective for intercontinental, uh, intercontinental uh, ballistic missiles, uh, how we do responses, how we scramble jets, where we scramble them from, the communications we use. There's so much information that China was able to glean from this uh, that, you know, it is it is very bad from a defensive standpoint uh, of how we would respond to China versus, you know, how we how we respond to them, uh, it really hurts our capabilities and it's something that we really need to address. You, like so many people, have concerns about TikTok as Chinese spyware, but some Democrats don't seem to take the threat seriously. Watch this. Some working families are facing the pinch. They're seeing high costs on gas, groceries. Good evening. No question about it. When you teach a wolf to meditate. Hello, I'm Congressman Adam Schiff with some troubling news. Hey everyone, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I want to live in a state where those in power are trying to bring us together. And then Senator Marco Rubio had this to say. The issue is the data. Number one, it's the data. They are collecting data on, and, and so are other social media companies. When it comes to China, if they tell ByteDance, which owns TikTok, I want the data of those 60 million, 70 million Americans and everything you have on them, they have to turn it over or ByteDance will cease to exist or someone else will be taken over it. The other is the ability to further narratives. You know, they can use TikTok to drive video and promote and promote messages that in a time of conflict convince Americans that America shouldn't defend Taiwan, that America's wrong about Taiwan, and, and on the other hand, you know, suppress messages that say the contrary. David, the, the TikTok has been banned on government devices at the federal level, something that was signed by Joe Biden. And you still have a lot of members of his own party who won't get off of it for whatever reason. And well, because they need the young voters. What is the danger of it? Yeah, I agree with all the points that were that were spoken around uh, the collection aspects. You know, we live in a society where China is the largest surveillance state that we've ever seen in the history of civilization around its own people, as well as what it collects around the world. Uh, they're the largest, you know, intellectual property theft uh, uh, adversaries that we face in the world. Uh, they continue to be year after year stealing trillions of dollars of intellectual property from the United States through illegal cybercrime, uh, and they continue to do so. Um, and the information they obtain and how they look at uh, the world is through information. So, you know, this is one source of 
thousands of they have, but it's one of their main sources of information where they can collect it on U.S. personnel, people that are close to military installations, start to build dossiers or profiles for espionage purposes, as well as what type of information you want to target. And, and as we know, living in this digital age, you know, our kids are playing Fortnite and these different things are on social media, they're on TikTok, they're on Facebook. You know, what we communicate to our kids and who is actually presenting that information um, is extremely important because that's their view of the world because they're living through that screen. They're not living through reality. And so it does pose a major threat for us. And, you know, I'm personally against, uh, you know, using TikTok in any form or capacity uh, because of those major threats that we have uh, specifically with China being our largest adversary in the world. Uh, and it's also a major security issue as well. So, you know, my recommendation would be get off of TikTok immediately as fast as you can, um, unless you want the Chinese government uh, collecting as much information on you as possible. David Kennedy, let's ban TikTok. Let's do it. Thanks for joining us on the bottom line. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate it. Outside of the radius 